You ever just want to quit your job, buy a boat, sail around the world? Well, what if we told you that was possible? I'm Rad. And I'm Sasha. With more willpower than money and a dream to become pirates, we bought a sinking sailboat and spent the next nine months transforming it into one of the sexiest boats on the seven seas. There is nothing that can get in the way of us sailing around the world. So grab your popcorn, hit subscribe, and be prepared for one hell of a story. The story of our lives. This is the journey of Spirit Animal. September 23rd, 2021 was a day that would change their lives forever. A plague ran vast across the lands as a salty rebel by the name of Spirit Wrath and his mermaid of a girlfriend, Sasha Myers, embarked on a journey that could lead them one step closer to their dreams. However, the odds were far more in favor of leading to their ultimate downfall. Naive and unmoved by the consequences, they decided to risk it all for their common goal. To sail around the world at all costs. Which leads us to their first mistake. I just got a boat. They just accepted the offer. It's official. Let's go. Right. I haven't even cranked the engine or checked the sails on this boat. I bought it as is and that boat's a piece of shit. Needs some work. That's oh shit. All right, we're going out. We're going out to Raph's other boat now. How much did you pay for the boat? Buck 20. What do you think it's worth? 80 grand. <laughs> <laughs> and I bought it with cash that I borrowed from someone. <laughs> First time sailing a monohull. Let's go. The transmission just slipped on me after 30 minutes of driving. 300 miles, no autopilot. Right. We did say it was going to be an adventure, didn't we? There is a ton of problems. All right. Right. There's a bunch of sketchy shit that I found. We got water in every hatch. Neither refrigerator is working. The toilets are all leaking. The windlass isn't working. They don't work. <laughs> wow. One easy little knock. Boat is sunk. This is why you always get an inspection on the boat. It's gonna cost us $3,000. $2,300. We are in over our eyelids in work. We are not getting full RPMs. One day it'll be a shiny bilge. Long way to go. And now we can really see if the boat's taking on water. Hello? It's for you. <laughs> it's been pumping and pumping and pumping. It looks like the water level has not even dropped. I think this thing was close to sinking. I am anxious to see the bottom of this boat. The last thing I'm gonna do is put lipstick on a pig. You know, the engine doesn't work, but I'm still gonna paint that motherfucker. It'd be a sexy floating turd. Feel me? Day five bajillion at the boatyard. It's a lot that needs to be done. If anyone can do it, it's spear wrap inside the miners. Okay, let's get to work. Today, we are going to get down and dirty. She has no idea how itchy she's going to be. <laughs> oh, that's, nice a, heel, boy. that's a boy. It's a runner. Oh, runner. <laughs> we did 500 milliliters of paint. I decided to dip dye the tips of my hair in it. We survived. Ta-da! Ta-da! The pressure is seriously on. <laughs> That's a bit crunchy. How was it in there? It's awesome. I saw the underside of my balls. <laughs> Hold up. We have to start from the very beginning. Why? Because I had my own YouTube channel with my sister and you had your own YouTube channel. Now we're on the same YouTube channel together. On, on a random a boat. boat. Okay, okay. So we'll fill in the blanks. All right, then let's take them back just a little bit further. To the beginning. Chapter one. 
It all started in the good old days, when it was just me and Ben sailing around on a catamaran. couple of studs just doing pull-ups and push-ups every day, spear fishing every day. I gotta go spear some fish. Arp, arp, arp. We're just two good old boys from Central Florida who had never sailed before and we bought the first sailboat we stepped on and took off into the Caribbean. Balls. Park balls, check, check. So after chasing tail for over a month out in the Bahamas, spearfishing every day with your with your buddy, you know, in paradise, just gets a little old. You want to socialize. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, it's not here. all sunshine and rainbows out here. So then we find ourselves sailing towards the Exumas to a little place called Georgetown that has a bar called Chat and Chill. We drop anchor, grab a couple beers. We walk up and see some familiar faces at the volleyball court. You may know them as Sasha and Natalie on Sailing the Far Side. Really, I just thought they were a couple salty, greasy sailor chicks and we were just out there to make friends and have a good time. So we decided to try to go say hey and start it off with a casual wave. We had just finished a game of volleyball and my friend Casey and I went and sat down at the table to cool off with some cold beers. And the first time I waved, they didn't see me. And then the second time I waved. I did a little side glance down the table. And I was like, oh, awkward. Ah, oh, I know Sasha saw me. I know she saw me, cause she did this. She big leagued me. A split second later, I was like, wait, I know that person. I know from Instagram. And I was like, okay, well this is kind of awkward. At this point I'm thinking, okay, either she has a boyfriend or is shy. I didn't want to be rude, have him think that I was ignoring him. I wanted to make it clear that we we're just nice guys, just wanting to say hi. I recognized him. So I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna go throw my trash away and I'll go say hi. I saw her head to the bar. I got up. I followed her. Went to throw my trash away. She was just going to the trash can. Turned around and all I heard was, Hey, what's up? I'm Raph. Oh, and he kind of took me off guard because I just thought he was this douchebag jock. I'd consider myself a jock. Just, you know, from his Instagram, holding up all his fish, just looking all cool. One of those cool kids from high school that thought they were too good to talk to anyone. I was definitely cool in high school. But the first thing that I thought when I saw him was just this super sweet, genuine smile. Nothing like what he posts on Instagram. I could see it in her eyes, she kind of turned. So they invited us over to the table, we met her sister Natalie, Casey and George, and we all started down in beers and playing volleyball. Oh, we're oh, 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 been. <laughs> well, we just whooped some ass in volleyball. Next thing you know, Gator's bringing out the fireball. Where is Gator? <laughs> And soon enough, we had this huge group of people, a bunch of cruisers, just having a really, really good time. And the day was coming to an end. So Raph and Ben said, how about a party on our boat? And the party went well. I would say there were sparks. And it's also Valentine's Day. And then the very next day, I wake up and realize that her dad and mom are on the boat that's anchored right next to ours. I could throw a football to them. And I remember that night blasting music and people yelling, We're going streaking! <laughs> I do recall a skinny dipping session. I don't think I partaked in it. I think it was just the girls. <laughs> I'm not gonna put this on my YouTube channel. <laughs> It was all innocent fun. What do you expect with a bunch of sailors on a boat and a few bottles of rum? That was gonna be the beginning of an era. And that is when the buddy boat flotilla was formed. We island hopped together for the next six months, sailing to almost every island in the Bahamas and made it as far south as the Dominican Republic. 
Spearfishing was our greatest means of survival out there, and since everyone was fairly new to the game, I gave them a couple quick pointers. They became spirit animals in no time. By the time we had gotten to Long Island, the squad had grown. Freediver Steph joined the crew, who happens to be a freedive instructor, and certified us all as master freedivers. And we all dove over 100 feet in Dean's Blue Hole. got some news so we want to sell the boat basically Ben committed himself to a year I'm gonna take the money and buy a mono hull and get back out here ASAP because I'm not done uh, bullshitting around trying to find treasure and uh, shooting big fish I'm not gonna lie sailing back to civilization was quite depressing Sasha and Natalie were heading back to Key West to make some money for the summer and me and Ben had to get our boat ready to put on the market but I knew this wasn't the end for Spirit Animal. In fact, it was only the beginning. Join us next week as Raf goes on the hunt for the new Spirit Animal. And if you guys like that episode, you're gonna to wanna to hit the red subscribe button down here in the bottom right hand corner because we've got a lot of awesome content coming real soon.